Class. We have. Oh. Oh, is this it? Is it just these two? They're the only two that's changed? Is the rest of this identical? Uh, I mean, it was already the strongest melee class that there is. So that's not the worst news. But let's just see. Uh, your hits permanently intimidate enemies that are on full life is the same. Gain adrenaline for 20 seconds when you hit early life is insane is the same and remove all ailments is the same so we got recover 25 percent of your maximum life when you gain adrenaline so useful um useful in the way that it's sort of an automatic pot You reach low life if you do not have adrenaline. Only intimidated enemies that are on full life. Removes all ailments and burning. Removes all ailments and burning. Recover 25% of maximum life when you use adrenaline. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Um, it's just slightly better. Like, for the most part, people proc adrenaline out of combat before they enter a boss fight. So... That won't have a huge impact there, but if you get slaughtered a little bit during a boss fight, when it's not up, you will get a free heal, which is, I guess, good, but not huge. But to be fair still, Champion didn't need a lot of work. It was already the only really, really powerful melee builds were Champions. And what did we change? Inspirational, which is here. What do we get here? So we've got the same effect of curse, same banner passives. When you create a banner, it gains 40% of the stages instead of 20. But you get a lot less life recovery, a lot less. Wait, hang on. You and nearby allies recover half a percent of life for each stage the banner has. You and allies affected by your placed banner regenerate 0.1% of your maximum life. That's garbage now. It wasn't even that OP to begin with. Okay, so we've got... I mean... The nice heal pretty much got moved from placing a banner to gaining adrenaline. That's basically what happened here. They just moved the nice heal from one node to another, which is probably more inclined to let me just not take inspirational on a champion. I'm more likely to go, I think it's 10-12. Yeah, I'm more likely to go 10-12 and... 10-12 and eight. and four right yeah it's just 10 12 8 and 4 that's just that's just what you get every time um i mean like i don't want to get i don't want to be disappointed because champion was already really good and it's still really good but because it's not shiny or new and because becoming hit capped is now a thing we can do, so the not missing thing is ever so slightly less appealing. Uh, I feel like it's gonna fall out of favor a little. It's still gonna be really strong. It's still gonna be fine. It just, the other ones seem far more interesting to me. Especially Slayer. Slayer feels like they really absolutely nailed what I want an Ascendancy to be. Because like when I was looking at the Slayer tree, I was like, I want every node. Please give me eight labs. Um, I would like all of the nodes, please. Whereas on this one, I'm just sort of like, eh. Like, I guess if I had one extra lab, I'd probably take Fortify so that I could use a different link in my main setup, but whatever. Like, whatever. It's like, 
Champion's still going to be really good. It's still going to be really fun. If Champion's your favorite thing to play, then it will still be fine. It just isn't really new or fancy in any way. So, um, yeah, generically powerful, but uninteresting otherwise. <laughs>